some hard time. What what happened to you, brother? Um, I started my trucking business when I lived in Virginia. Um, I did really well hauling cars. Then I got into hauling frac sand. Then I got married. And then unfortunately I got divorced. I don't have any more trucks. Trucking? Do you feel it ruined your marriage? Um. I wouldn't say it ruined it. I don't. I'd say it was not of any help in my my situation personally. Gotcha. Fair, uh, fair enough. Yep. So um, my my wife had some unfortunate habits, and she did not want to change. And everything I did to help her, she did not want to be helped. And uh, then we split our ways. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot to show for it anymore. Yep. Like you getting a divorce, losing your two trucks yep. uh, because of the divorce, and then having to live in a camper. How big was this camper? Like this big? <laughs> Uh, no, it was a fifth wheel camper. It was like okay, a, yeah, okay, it was yeah. a 36 foot camper or whatever. Yep. So it's pretty big, but uh, still living in the camper in upstate New York in the winter. Dude. <laughs> so good with the bad and uh, kind of move on. You know what I mean? You can't look back all your life thinking about how good you had it or how bad it can be. So you just kind of always say when life passes you by, downshift. So I'm just grab another gear and keep going forward. You know? That's crazy. The um, here's a question for you real quick. Yeah. Um, you said you lost trucks. How the hell did you lose trucks? Um, just the divorce process wasn't really friendly for me, you know, and it was... She took it all? She didn't... No, I can't say that she took it all. Uh, it was a part decision uh, on my end to try to help her, which I needed to accumulate some money. And uh, that being said, I just kind of got rid of it, and uh, I let go of my driver, got rid of both of my trucks in the trailer, and uh, kind of, you know, trying to do different things, you know. I have college education. I have a couple skills. I can be a mechanic, truck driver, you know, I can work at the desk, I can be a manager, but that's not the point. At the time... The way life had me by the balls, I uh, just figured, you know, got to help the person that I love, and unfortunately, she did not want any help, so trucks kind of, kind of went by the wayside. We got to go. Wait, Wait up. Yep. I think my car is dying. Oh, no. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I think, no, we are really... Wait up. Let me turn it off for a second. Okay. I have. It's my buddy's card, actually. Okay. So, well, let's finish this real quick. And then, I mean, I could push my car back and I could help you regardless. Or yeah. this might be as far as I could take you. That's fine. That's a lot better than it was before. <laughs> I'm going downhill. So <laughs> I've actually been, this is a real, this is real. This is embarrassing. But, uh, um, so you got divorced. Yep. Uh, you sold your truck or you lost your truck? I sold my trucks voluntarily. Uh, so how many trucks did you have? I had two trucks. And now where do you work? I work for uh, River Road Auto in Norwich. So you're still a car hauler? Yep, all cars. For, for uh, an employer? For an employer. Not employee, and, or not employer myself, an employee again. And that sucks. If you can buy your own truck, do it. I mean, today's day and age, it's probably a little bit, you know, right. controversial to buy your own truck yeah. with the fuel prices. Because fuel but, prices and the price of trucks don't do it. Yeah, um, the price of trucks and, and just the fuel, the rates for the for the hauling are dropping and it's not very good. Fair. But uh, that being said, if you can be self-employed, that's the only way to go, in my opinion. But you went back, why? Because uh, I did not know what else to do. I went back to turning wrenches for a while, and then I was like, man, I don't know if I can do turning wrenches anymore. You know, I'm beating out my body. I'm spending all this money on tools. I mean, I always had tools, but, right. uh, you know, I went back over the road, and I was like, okay, that'll clear my mind. But now I'm back on the up and up. I got a house. I got a place to live. I got. And how long did it take you to do all that? Um, like two years through COVID. Wow. Yep. For, uh, advice to people that feel like their their back is to a wall. And if your back's to the wall, no matter what, hold, hold, keep it together. Hold it together because it's going to get better. I, I promise you. It's going to suck for a while, but if you can get your shit straight, figure out your things, and move forward one foot in front of another, one step at a time. I know it's cliche. Everybody says it, and I thought it was bullshit for a while. I'm not going to wow. lie. But, you know, you kind of quit thinking about what you're doing or, like, how to do it, and you kind of figured out what you're doing one thing in front of another and it just got better you're trying to have a, a heartfelt conversation <laughs> with my guy and then the, the the card dies and so now it's one of those things where uh i might need him uh just to give me a little push that way anytime man i'll give you a we'll, we'll, we'll wait till this goes and then we'll go over right oh yeah that's perfect that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god that's so funny that's yep. so funny oh Best my god happen in the mornings right yeah. Up. There's ready. Yep. What up? All right. That might be good. All right, man. I got enough room for this. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, guys. So I don't have any battery left.
Whoa, we made it. We made it, we made it. Oh my God.